Hello, this is Jeff Foster with WebBiz Ideas. This tutorial is on how to find guest bloggers. Now the main goal is to find bloggers to submit editorials to. This would be similar to reaching out to magazines or newspapers that relate to your business in exchange for hoping that they write an editorial or an article that mentions your company. But we're doing this online and we're looking for bloggers. Uh, the other goal is to create a database of these bloggers that are easy to influence. And the reason is so we can do this process not just once, but over and over again. So you'll need a couple resources. Number one, your PR template. Number two, completed your keyword research. And then number three and four, I suggest watching the other tutorials that we have on learning how to search and how to find related websites. But to show you how this is all done, uh, let me first show you the PR template. I have an entire video already published on this, so look at that for details. But in short, your PR or public relations template keeps all your online public relations contacts organized. So you can first find all the people that you want to influence, and then you can create a call to action or a plan to action to, to do that. So what we're going to be doing is really three steps. One, download your PR template. And, and then number two, use Google's blog search to find these, these, these online media outlets and bloggers to add to your template. And then number three would be use Google uh, plus advanced search operating terms to find resources or find bloggers to influence and add to your PR template. So to start, Google blog search. Um, you can type in any obviously subject to Google and you'll find a lot of results. You have 33 million. But you can click on the left hand side under blogs to narrow this down to just blogs. And now it narrows down from 33 million to 12 million. And, and if we click the past 24 hours, now we can find bloggers that have written posts in the past 24 hours, so blogs that are active. And so 33 million to 15,000 is a big filter. And so now if we're looking to find bloggers that we can ask, hey, can I write for your company? Can I contribute? Can I write an editorial? Well, now we have 15,000 bloggers that all relate to, to the Green Bay Packers that we could perhaps influence. Now 15,000 is a lot as well, so we want to narrow this down even more. So to do that, we're going to type in a word uh, like guest blogger. So now we're looking for our subject, again I'm just using Green Bay Packers as an example, and now guest blogger. So keep in mind, remember we're looking for bloggers that say, I want you to write for my company. I'm a blogger, but I, I allow people to contribute to my blog in exchange for mentioning your company name, linking to your website, brand exposure, and so forth. So this blogger might have mentioned on the page, hey, I'm looking for a guest blogger. And so now we found 2,000 results. So that's even narrower. So now we can look through these 2,000 and find out if there's any blogs that relate to really what I'm looking for. But of course, 2,000 is a lot too. So we want to narrow this down even more. So a great phrase to type in is the one, submit guest blog post. Um, so now we're looking for someone that mentioned, hey, I'm looking for you to submit a guest post. And if we follow some of these links in here, we're going to find out this is exactly what we're looking for. right? Here's a sports network blog that is talking about the Green Bay Packers, which that's our subject. And, and look here, they have a tab that even says, write for us. So we can't get even, I mean, this is exactly what we're looking for. I mean, this company is selling it to us. Here's the benefits of writing for us. This is what we expect. This is how to get started. right? So they want people like you to write for you, for them. And so this is exactly what we want you to do, right? Copy the URL, put it back into the PR template, write some notes about it, and now you move on. And, and the goal will be to find hundreds of them just like this so you can reach out to them when you have a breaking news story, when you have you know, information that you want to distribute online. So here are your, your, your contacts. So it's, it's very simple. Uh, it's just a matter of typing in the right keywords. So another one that we type in a lot is write for us hey, I'm looking for someone to write for us. And again, if you click on the number one listing here, eventually you're going to find a site and you're going to find the link that says write for us. Again, they do the same thing. They're selling it to you. And, and one thing to keep in mind to find this page would just be a, a quick search on the, you know, a, qu a quick control F. And, and now you can find, you know, where they say write for us. And, and what you're going to find, right, it says it's, it's in the footer. It says right, write for us down here. So that's another nice, nice, easy way to find it. Uh, other phrases that you could type in, um, not just, I, because when you go back to this, right for us, what this is saying is I'm looking for these keywords just on the page anywhere. 
we can get more specific. We can say I'm looking for right for us in the URL. And now that narrows it down to only 38 results. Again, it's saying I'm looking for my topic somewhere on the page, but I want this in the URL. And so now, right, if, if we can see this, right, it's in the URL, it's in the URL. And if we go to these pages, again, it's, it's, it's exactly what we're looking for, right? Love the Packers, right for us. Here's how to do it. If we go back and click on some of the other ones, right, it's the same exact things. Are you an avid Packer fan? Right for us. And that's exactly what you're looking for, right? They tell you how to do it and so forth. So adding things like that uh, might help find even more specific landing pages that relate to your topic. We started out with 33 million, now we're down to 38, and this is exactly what we're looking for. So this is all things that, that you can do. Uh, another search operating term would be not just in title, would be in, sorry, in URL, but in title. Now there's 55 results, some of them are the same as the URLs. And again, what you're looking for is, you're, you're searching here now. You're, you're searching for their page title. You're searching for like a newspaper article that says in the title, write for us. And, and so this is another one that can be very, very specific. And the reason why I suggested looking at uh, learn how to search is because I teach you how to do all these search operating terms in that tutorial as well. So look at that for, for many other search operating terms just like this that you can get very narrow. So you're not looking through 33 million results. Now I want to take some time to pause to go over some negative sites that we're not looking for. Um, when you're doing this research, you can't just do it fast. You can't just find this, copy it, add it to your PR template. You need to, you need to read the page. So for example, this is a sports blogger website that says, hey, look at this. They even say guest post. So I'm looking for people to guest blog. But it might not be exactly what you're looking for. So it says what we're looking for. They're looking for people that take road trips, um, people of families who travel. We look at the picture up here. It's an RV, right? These are like sports fans that travel to stadiums to watch their favorite, you know, team throughout the country. So that might not be what you're looking to do, right? You may be able to submit something to them, but they say, hey, well, you're not what we're looking for. So don't just add anything, read it. Uh, same thing here, we may find a page that says write for us on the page. And if we do a quick search, right, we can see it says write, well, where was the other one here I saw? Right here, right? It says this is how to contact us, right? This is how to be a contributor. And then, oh, well, that's fantastic, that's what we're looking for. But if we search for our keyword, Green Bay Packers, it's it, it's not really what the company does. It's not really what the blog does. And if you look up here, right, they're an Arizona Cardinal blog. So maybe if you're looking to reach out to any NFL blog, this might be it. But if you're looking to research and find just Green Bay Packers, it might not be it. So you have to you have to read. You have to look through this. You have to find out and ask yourself, hey, is this is this what I'm looking for? So don't just breeze through it. Also, you're going to find uh, other websites that from a search aspect match everything you're looking for. For example, you might be searching for guest bloggers, you found it. You might be searching for Green Bay Packers. This website's about that, at least it mentions it. But this is the Boys and Girls Club. These guest bloggers are not people like us. They're committee members, they're people that, that are highly valued in Green Bay. So this isn't probably something that we're going to be looking to add to. So we really need to identify what we're looking for. We're also not looking for basically crappy article submissions, right? This is not just mentioned Green Bay Packers, but I mean, look at all this other junk that you can add insurance and jewelry and shoes and mobile. This is just an article, you know, linking scheme. So we don't want that as well. We also don't want, want, want blogs that specifically say guest bloggers, you know, wanted. And the whole blog is not about Green Bay Packers, but it's about guest blogging, right? We don't want that as well. Now, there, there is a middle ground. In our PR template, we have organized from media outlets, and then we have bloggers, right? These are all bloggers. This is what we're looking for. This is where you would add all your bloggers down here. But we also have a, a tab called Almost Guaranteed. And we have this, uh, and I have examples for our company that Almost Guaranteed means maybe you have a relationship with the company. Uh, maybe you know the owner. At the same time, maybe the company is organized specifically around 
having people submit content to them. Maybe they allow dynamic content to be written. Maybe their whole website is built around this concept. And when we say almost guaranteed, it's it's almost like 95% chance if I write something and submit it to them, it's going to be published. And so every now and then we find these websites as well. This doesn't really relate to the Green Bay Packers. We found it searching for the Green Bay Packers, but I mean they have a big button that says write for us here. Other websites like this might have a login username. Anytime you have a login username, it's chances are you can log in and submit stuff to them, right? They have a process down to help you do this. Um, hopefully this page loads here. There we go. So right again, this is this is a, a company that's built around dynamic content. This company doesn't write their own content. They allow their users to write it. So when you find stuff like this, obviously you're gonna to have to log in, you're gonna to have to sign up, and you're gonna to have to test it out. Don't just add it to the your PR template, you know, look into it. But if it if it if it happens to be a company that's like that, well add it to the almost guaranteed. And the reason why we say that is because you should have a plan every month. Well, okay, let's say I have fifty bloggers that I know accept guest bloggers, but maybe I'm only at a five percent chance that I'm going to right get a hit every month. But here I know if I write five articles, I'm almost guaranteed that all five are going to be published. It's going to be brand exposure. It's going to be a link for my company. So you kind of want a happy medium going every month. Okay, every month I'm going to get at least five articles written on these sites, and these maybe I'm going to try to get one or two every month. You know, I might submit to a lot, but here's my chances. So that's why every now and then when you find these and they're they're quality enough, you should probably add these as well to that column. So again, a happy medium, a balance. Um, but going on, uh, some other search operating terms that are new that uh, I recommend using are one called um, when you're looking in the in URL or or the in uh, type in the word guest post, and this is different than guest blogger. What this is, it's saying that hey, someone actually did a guest post. So if we click on this top one, right, a lot of times it's in the title or in the URL that hey, this is a guest post. This isn't me writing this article. I'm specifically saying this is someone else. And this is kind of becoming a standard lately. So you could search for that as well by typing in URL, in title, right? Things like that. Or even better these days, if the website's coded correctly, you could type in in post author. So now it's saying that the author or the author's name, you know, perhaps contains guest post or guest. And so if we click on one of these, um, we can see, right, author, it's a guest. And so again, it's another way to find maybe not a landing page that says write for us or contribute, but you know in some way, shape, or form that this blog allows guest posts because here's an example. So when you add it to your PR template, you know, add that to it, right? Put the notes, put the examples. Uh, in here, right, there's notes. That, and put in your notes or in an example, the example of this. So when you go back, you can find out, hey, okay, I, I, I know why I added this because there's an example of a guest post in here. Um, and then my final tip uh, to, to doing this is, is use online communities. Here's one, my, guest, uh, my blog guest. It's uh, one that's been established for a while. You can sign up and it's basically a community of guest uh, bloggers. So that's another way kind of uh, to get ahead. Hey, there's thousands of people in here that say I guess the guest guest uh, blog and there's thousands of other people that say yep I, I, I allow you to submit to me and so you can use communities like this to easily find people that relate to your subject. Um, and so that's really the, the, the the short end of it. I highly recommend you take a look at our written um, our written uh, tutorial in our PowerPoint because we have many more search operating terms that you can use and suggestions and links to other websites that have many more like this and you can review it uh, because it's all about what you type in the search engines and you'll get better and better as you go but again the short of it is to just type in different search operating terms into Google to find bloggers that say yep I, I want you to write for me. It's beneficial for you to write for me. And in exchange, I'm going to give you a link, mention your company, and, and brand exposure. So that's what we're looking for. And from an SEO aspect, this is amazing. 
right? From an SEO spe aspect, uh, if we get in our PR template a large enough uh, you know, list and every month we know that 10% of these are going to hit, well that's maybe 10, 20 different links every single month. And if you're getting them targeted about your subject, that could be 10, 50 sales a month if you get it on the right blog. Right, and so this can be very valuable from an SEO standpoint, as well as really a profit standpoint, a sales standpoint, a brand exposure standpoint. So use these tips, use these steps to to find guest bloggers, and you'll have success uh, ranking your client number one or ranking your number, your site number one in the search engines, uh, but also really generating more leads and sales.